this is uh, some work that I have been doing with my advisor, Dan Meyer. And the question we had was, so whether low earnings for non-residential fathers are a barrier to the involvement they establish with their non-resident kids. So we know for, uh, from some research that at least in the context of positive parenting, the involvement of these non-resident fathers with kids is important for their development and for their development. So we were trying to figure out some of the systemic barriers these fathers face when they try to remain involved with these non-resident kids. So for our research question, we wanted to look at whether low earnings in these non-residential fathers are one of the barriers they face when trying to remain involved. This is not uh, like a very new question in the research, but a lot of the research in the past has used survey data, and the problem with survey data is that we have the mother's reports on the father's earnings. And the advantage we have with this data is we have data from Wisconsin, from the survey, but we also have administrative records, and these records give us a better measure of the father's socioeconomic status, at least in terms of their earnings. So we are using uh, survey data. So this is mother reports from the Wisconsin Works family uh, program. This was an evaluation in the 90s. But as I say, the advantage is that we also have administrative data. So we use this data to predict how, in time one of the survey, father's earnings are or not a good predictor of the uh, involvement that this father, in terms of contacting person, he is going to establish in the second wave of the survey. What we find, in general, this is a pretty disadvantaged sample, and what we find so far is that uh, earnings matter, that those fathers uh, that are in a specific threshold, those fathers that earn at least a median wage in that year are more likely to have contact in person compared to fathers who didn't have earnings. However, it is important to see too that when we include or when we look at more frequent contact, not just contact once a year, we see that earnings are important, but we also see that the quality of the relationship and the conflict of their relationship with the custodial mother is also important. So for some of the policy implications here, uh, we think that it is relevant if we want to support some of these fathers to remain involved with their non-custodial or non-residential children, that we need to focus not just on helping them improve their socioeconomic status, but also have other interventions together that work with the quality of their relationship or other family responsibilities they have also uh, in their lives. So it's a um, very nice paper using survey, administrative data, and we are very excited for getting our first place today. Thank you.